Welcome to another episode of Golf is Hard TV, the golf show for the rest of us. We're going to continue, I think I'm almost done, with our tour of different golf social networks. Today I've got a pretty interesting one. Um, it's called the Business uh, Golf Country Club. It's run by a guy named Scott Duke, um, who's, who's a great guy actually in all disclosure. Uh, I did one of his, I'm going to talk about in a second, Clam Bay Cafe, which is a uh, weekly podcast. I was actually a guest on that Um but uh, but the business uh, golf country club actually is a really interesting idea, and, and you can see by the uh, the tagline here that it really is where golf and business merge. And what Scott really is is doing is 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 putting together a social network that is really not just about socializing and playing golf, but is also about um, serious business networking. So looking for opportunities. Uh, if you've got a golf business, if you're in the golf business, and there's a kind of a really interesting set of people who are who are already members of the site. So I definitely encourage you to to check out the Business Golf uh, Country Club, and uh, I'll put the link in the show notes uh, as well. So let's jump in. Um, one of the I think probably the most interesting uh, most interesting thing that Scott does is you can see right here um, a headshot and a uh, headshot photo and full name is required to become a member. And I think it's very deliberate why he does this. Um, he wants to create an actual social network of people who know each other and get to know each other and can talk to each other uh, and can and can really get the maximum benefits out of the site. Um, so if you join, uh, you have to upload a photo. Uh, otherwise, you won't approve you and you'll just stay in the, in the pending uh, box. And it's neat, though, because you really can get a sense of sort of who people are and you can um, build your profile out uh, like many other social networks. Um, this site happens to be built on a platform called Ning, N-I-N-G dot com. It's a free uh, social network platform anybody can create different sites on. Uh, it's been somewhat customized a little bit, uh, but for the most part, what you see here is pretty much what comes out of the box. Um, and there's tons and tons of things that you can customize. He's got kind of a news feed. It looks like they've started a new uh, Florida group, so it definitely gets local. Um, and what's nice is it, it sort of shows you all the people that you've friended and uh, everybody you know, sort of what's going on on the site. So I can see who's leaving comments for who and who's talking to who. Um, easy access to the forum, and there's been some really interesting uh, – you can see a couple of things here, uh, a post about the uh, Titleist Performance Institute, and also uh, people looking for web developers. Actually, that's Scott looking for a web developer. Um, and then every person, like on a lot of these sites, gets gets their own uh, gets their own blog, so they can make their own postings uh, and and share uh, content and information with them. I'm going to start with uh, or continue, I should say, with um, looking at the individual profile page. You can see my profile page here. I've done a couple of interesting things. Uh, I think interesting things in terms of the profile page. Uh, I've integrated my Twitter status updates uh, right on this page, so people don't actually have to leave the site to, to follow on what I'm doing. Um, I've also integrated the Golf is Hard TV blog right into it, so if you have a blog and you're using the site, you can do that as well. It's a good way to sort of spread your message and syndicate your content out. Um, I can also track um, uh, track different people. There's different applications. Ning has different basically plugins for different applications you can throw in. And again, it sort of allows me to track my own activity uh, and see what uh, see what I'm talking about. But maybe most importantly, the profile. Who I am and get letting giving people a little bit of sense of who I am, what I'm up to, why I'm here, uh, and those kinds of things, and, and people can leave um, can leave messages uh, for me as well. Um, so uh, just kind of continuing the tour here. There's a forum, and um, you can see there's some some really good content in here. Uh, it's been it's been it's been growing quickly. I think Scott uh, started um, the Country Club uh, back in January 2009, so it hasn't been up for that long. There's quite a few members. Quite a few postings, which is really nice, but they're very specific. So it's different than a general social network like Facebook or even something like Straka or uh, even Oob Golf, which is really tends to be a little more golf playing focused. Uh, people looking for jobs, there may be a good opportunity for you to find a, a job in the golf uh, space and those kinds of things as well. Um, there is capability for groups, subgroups, and you can see there's a few groups in here, Arizona, Texas, Southern California. Unfortunately, there's no Connecticut one, but what are you going to do? Um, Oops, and there's also a place to list events, uh, which is cool if you're in, if you're local, uh, which is I think a big part of these social networks sort of getting local uh, and meeting people actually in your in your own neighborhood. And then finally, a place to to, to post photos, and, and there's all sorts of interesting photos. Let's check one out here. It's 2005 uh, Saint E's Golf Classic. That's a cool photo. So uh, I think overall it's really good. I, I really do think that um, what Scott's doing is being by being very niche and very, being very focused, it's uh, it's just a great opportunity to meet sort of really like-minded people who have some of the same issues. Uh, a couple other quick features to note. Uh, there is a chat, an online chat, so an instant messaging capability, and you can see who's online um, and actually send them. Uh, send them messages, which is which is pretty cool, and get instantaneous response if they're if they're paying attention. Um, and also just to mention the Clan Bay Cafe, which I think is great. Um, uh, it's just a, sort of the official club podcast, and, and Scott uh, 
provides a lot of great content, rules, tips, interviews, people like me and, and, and other people uh, around the, the business golf world, which, which I think is great. Um, just another good opportunity to connect with people and really sort of build your network. Uh, this one a little more specific to the business side of golf uh, than it is sort of like a Straka or Oob uh, in terms of playing golf or even golf space. Um, but I would say just in terms of all the tours that we've done, sort of um, business country, uh, business golf country club and, and the golf space are somewhat similar in terms of their um, sort of explicit uh, acceptance of business oriented stuff. And then Straka and Oob golf uh, certainly are sort of more on the social side of just playing golf and making friends. <clears throat> and of course, a world golf tour is uh, all about playing video game golf. So um, enjoy it. And again, uh, definitely encourage you to check out Business Golf Country Club. Scott is on Twitter, and I'll post all that stuff in the show notes. And uh, that's it for this uh, latest golf social networking tour. Uh, thanks for watching Golf is Hard TV. We'll see you next time.